Thank you, Vicky. Hello, everybody. I'm glad to, you, to present to you uh, our work uh, about the pedological information system of our region, Piedmont region, in the north of Italy. Let me introduce you, uh, the working group. Uh, all, I'm uh, all, almost <laughs> introduced by Vicky. Uh, just an, another information. I've been working on soil and pedological data in the last 20 years. The other people that uh, composed the group uh, of soil work group is a pedologist, obviously, uh, whose main activity is the creation, are the creation and management of the pedological data, computer scientist for analysis and creation of information system, and cartographer uh, for production and maintenance of geodata. Uh, Two words about our institute is a public company founded in 1979, is owned by the government of Piedmont region, and we work on applied research in the field of forestry, agriculture, biodiversity, natural conservation, renewable, uh, renewable energy, and of course, soils. The main activities are collect data by field survey, uh, laboratory analysis, uh, realization of plans for nature conservation, territory management, data analysis model, creation of information system to collect and manage data and map production. But uh, who's the process for uh, define pedological uh, data and information? There are three main activities. The first one made in, at the office by expert is the photo interpretation with uh, aerial stereo uh, photograph with a stereoscope. Uh, the expert uh, draw uh, the base of soil units on a base map using uh, photos. With the maps, the pedologists go on the field to collect data uh, about soil and samples of soil. Uh, the samples of soils are bring to our laboratory for chemical and uh, physical analysis. The results of these activities are in one hand, uh, the pedological data, uh, that is the point data set uh, that is obtained by activities on the field and uh, by the laboratory analysis. And in the other hand, the pedological information, that is a result of, uh, results of pedological data analysis and uh, assigned to the geographic areas, the soil units, by using the point data set. Uh, this is the two main uh, type of data and information, uh, soil types, uh, call, also called phases. Uh, that is a collection of soils with common characteristics that allow them to, uh, to be defined and grouped. Uh, the soil types properties are defined using the most representative soil profile, whose data are obtained from uh, the field form. You can see an example on the right, and uh, uh, from the laboratory analysis. The information derived from the soil types are in the soil units. Soil units is a group of geographic elements, polygon or features, defined as delineation that have the same morphological properties defined uh, uh, in the office with the work of stereographic photos and the soil type composition. Each soil unit is described by the characteristic of the most representative soil type. The most representative soil type is the soil type that covers the major part of the soil unit. Uh, how this data and information is obtained? On the field, the pedologists go and dig a in a representative spot, a soil profile or an auger hole, and they define the horizons. Horizons are homogeneous layers of soil. You can see in the first picture four horizons that are well defined by the color of the soil. Other characteristics of the, of the horizon are, for example, the amount and the presence of clay, uh, the amount and presence of rocks that, uh, that is called a skeleton, and so on. Uh, with many profiles uh, or auger holes and the horizon defined by them, uh, the pedologist can define the soil type. And the most representative, <coughs> sorry, the most representative soil type define the soil unit properties. Some numbers uh, since uh, the early years of '97. In fact, in that uh, period, the IPLA, uh, our institute that stands for Institute for Forestry and Environment, start to collect soils data in our region. Since then, IPLA has the role uh, as the role the pedological service for Piedmont region government, 
and the first collection of soil data, both analytics and pedological, was created for agriculture, uh, forestry, and nature conservation aims. Uh, since the second half of 1970, many data have been uh, collected and, of course, many different types of maps were created. Two examples of maps, uh, on the left, a map uh, of 1982, uh, yeah, uh, that is drawn by hand, man, by hand, and on the right, obviously, a digital map. Some numbers of the work of these 40 years. Over 12,000 profiles on agar ores in the world region. Uh, about 12,000 photos and both photos and laboratory analysis. More than 40,000 horizon described. And for the map at uh, 150,000 scale, uh, about 1,000 soil types described. Uh, about uh, 1,900 uh, soil units uh, defined. Uh, in uh, 7,000 7, delineation, uh, so polygons, because mm, more than one delineation uh, belongs to a single soil unit. A brief history of the pedological information system since 1975 divided by decades. In the first decade, uh, since 1975, we start to collect soil data and we produce a map by manual and traditional process. In the second decade, uh, till 95, 1995, uh, a first digital database of soil uh, were created, was created, sorry, and we started to uh, digitalize the map data from the uh, traditional maps. Uh, since 1995 till 2005, uh, we create the first version of the pedagogical information system uh, with uh, proprietary software uh, we'll see uh, later. And uh, uh, we finished to digitalize all the map data, geographic data. Uh, in the last decade, uh, till uh, 2015, uh, finally, the pedagogical information system with uh, analytic data is connected to the geodata with a visualization software. And the geodata is mm, not only on single file, but on in a, within a geodatabase. This is the first workflow of the PIS, all made with proprietary software. Uh, on the top, we have the analytics uh, system, and on the bottom, the geodata system. The analytics uh, database is created with uh, Microsoft Visual Fox Pro. Uh, with SDK, uh, SDK, the map objects of ESRI. And the part of the data uh, are realized uh, with uh, uh, ESRI RGIS products. In particular, uh, the pedologist uh, um, input the data in the um, uh, analy analytics ge ge uh, database, and coding the soil units. Uh, after this, um, the coding, uh, the properties of the soil units are assigned to the single delineation. In the first, uh, at the first, um, for the first time, uh, at, at the beginning, sorry, of the process, uh, we use a single ESRI, fi ESRI shape file, but we trans uh, the transaction, the first transaction is to um, pass from a single uh, ESRI shape file to a personal ESRI geodatabase in ASSES. Uh, for visualization of the data, it's not possible to link directly uh, the personal geodatabase to the Microsoft Visual Force Pro, so we need to export the geodata with the properties of soil units in a, as a single as a shape file. This uh, file is passed to the Visual Fox Pro for checking the data assignment with map objects. Obviously, this process is asynchronous. Is uh, maybe there is some errors due to the mistakes done by the operators, but after all the errors is uh, fixed, uh, the consolidated data is published by the Piedmont region uh, um, uh, with uh, the support of uh, uh, another 
public company that is called CSI. In 2018, uh, we need to, uh, and decide, to uh, make a transition to the FOSS 4G uh, software. It's not a very simple uh, transition due to the complexity of the data, due to the uh, amount of the data for the analytic part. And so we start with two parallel uh, activities. The first one on the top is the conversion of the um, Visual Fox Pro uh, database to a um, Post PostgreSQL database. And uh, we implement a um, user interface on a web server by PHP. In a parallel way, uh, at the same time, we uh, made a transition from the as a proprietary geodatabase access that um, is not very <laughs> database, but uh, is a con container of data to the first geodatabase uh, with PostgreSQL and PostGIS. Uh, in particular, we have improved with this transition the topology and the topological consistence of uh, our geographical data. Of course, QJS is now the only software we use for editing, updating, and managing geodata. This process uh, permits to have uh, only one uh, unique system for analytics and geographic data of soils synchronized with each other. And most important, the data is now publishing made a transfer from one Postgres SQL geodatabase to another Postgres geodatabase. A quick look to the structure. Uh, it's a very, very simple structure here <laughs> of our database. Only one database, two schema. One schema for the analytics data uh, on the left, and one schema uh, with only one table here, my many view, on the right. In the analytics data, we have uh, points data uh, that have uh, one or more photos. Photos are at the moment not in the database, but is on the catalog of photos on the file system, on the server. For each point, we have a connection to uh, many horizons, one to n horizons for each point. And for each horizon, we have uh, analysis, physical and chemical analysis. From many horizons, the pedologists can define a soil type. A soil type has some characteristics that define the uh, properties of the soil unit. Uh, uh, more than more uh, soil units can belong to one soil type. Many delineation or polygons uh, belongs to a single soil unit. So many delineation can be obtain the properties of the soil units from the soil type. Uh, there is an example uh, of two maps. On the top we have the original map. And on the bottom is a map derived by a uh, change in the soil type uh, classification. Is a land capability use of soils. Pedologists can change some parameters. The soil type change, the soil unit change, and the classification of delineation soil change. All this process is synchronized and in real time. I talk about pedological information, not only soils, because in the pedological information system there are data from soils, like uh, the first four, uh, maybe, uh, maps. The first one on the left, top left is the um, pedological map, soil map. Uh, the second one, uh, the blue, is the drainage capability of soils. The third is uh, land capability of soils, and the fourth is uh, uh, the skeleton soil map. But the uh, two little maps on the bottom are pedological maps. They are the soil biodiversity map and the uh, real erosion map that uh, don't use only soils data, but also other uh, pedological and other data like land use and cover, uh, slope, rainfall, quantity, and so on. 
And on the right, there is another pathological map. There's an interpretation of soil data. This is, uh, this is uh, the class of soils for uh, the capacity of soils to stock uh, carbon dioxide. Why we choose Phosphor-G and which is the future? Uh, First one is uh, we want a unique acid force database for analytics and geographic data for synchronized data, maintain the consensus of data, in particular topology data. Uh, we need a web-based solution for user interface uh, because it's cross-platform, is not depending on the operating system like Microsoft Visual Fox Pro and so on. We need a simple integration with other data, for example, the data of uh, Piedmont region uh, that is maintained by the CSI. And after all, uh, the creation of modern routines for analysis and managing data uh, directly uh, produced by ourselves. Future. We need to integrate a digital field survey uh, at the moment, we're testing QField. We have some problems with the synchronizing of the data. Uh, you can imagine we have uh, more than 70, 75 parameters for each point in a single paper form. And it's not very simple to traduce uh, the paper form in a digital form on the field. We need to uh, implement uh, multiple user editing with supervision because we have many people that work uh, outside uh, our uh, institute as uh, collaborators for editing uh, soil data. We want to implement versioning of GeoData for maintaining the history of the GeoData. Uh, at the moment, we maintain only history of the analytics data uh, with a uh, workaround, not um, very well. And after all, uh, creation of trigger for automatic or semi-automatic maintenance update like geofence, for example, of some parts or um, for uh, uh, limit the use of the data uh, to some uh, people and so on. Thank you for your attention.